hey, chief, um, I'm not, I'm not happy, not happy at all with my terminal. So I started digging on my options for one more time. Alacrity was uh, option number one, but not much later, it was proved it was never a real option. For starters, for doing the rounded corners when I hide the ugly title bar, I had to use a shell extension that causes this awful blurring on overview. There is also an open issue when Alacrity can't always render colored emojis, so my prompt is pretty much broken. Speaking of which, since today I'm using the Rust port of Fish from the main branch, it seems to work. Cool. The other problem with Alacrity is that it actually has nothing, no tabs, no panes, only stars on GitHub, that I'm having a hard time to understand the reason. So I had to continue the search, so I went to GitHub and I started looking for new terminal emulators till I found this. I wasn't specifically looking for GTK4 projects, but this one is, and even better, it's written in Rust. One thing that bummed me out though was that it has an integration with Tmux. Basically, every session is a Tmux session by default. Let me run it, but keep on mind this is a baby project, a couple of weeks old. It's like an initial commit, so guys, don't expect much. Oh, it runs bash. Second. That's basically a Tmux session already, but from here we can open another session on another window. Let's call it test Tmux. Wow me, so much naming creativity. And attach, and don't ask me. No idea why that becomes purple. <laughs> Come on, Gnome, you embarrassing me. <laughs> we can check the session name just to be sure. Tmux test, and now I may say something completely stupid, but I suspect that Ivy is binding Tmux tabs to GTK tabs. So basically that's the same session. I have long time to use a multiplexer. I don't even remember how they work or why they even exist. And I think the same happens with the split panes. These are GTK separators, but I think they basically bind the Tmux original panes. On settings, so far, we can only change the primary colors and the fonts. The previews are broken, but the options do work. Um, I don't think Ivy is what I'm looking for. Because definitely, I don't want to run a terminal emulator inside another terminal emulator that I don't even use. But if you want to do that, or if you want to work on another rusty terminal for GNOME, here's the code, guys. Although, I think what GNOME really needs is another VTE. Yes, that's I think, is the biggest problem for getting a cool terminal. 